Hello guys, welcome to my channel Raul Automation Studio. So today in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can create an event project in the IntelliJ. So IntelliJ is basically lightweight and you can create a project in it. So how you can create it? First of all, you have to install IntelliJ in your system. So to install your uh, IntelliJ in your system, first you have to go to Google and just search IntelliJ download. Once you will search IntelliJ download, you will get the link for downloading it. Just go to that link and you can see there are two options that you can download. One is ultimate and it is having a free uh, trial for the 30 days and another one is for the community. So it is a freeware. So we will be downloading the community download.exe file. You can download two type of file here. One is .exe file, another is a zip file. So zip file, once you download the zip file, you have to unzip the file and then you have to open the IntelliJ ID from there. Also, you can download the .exe file where you have to install this .exe file like you install other software in your system. So after downloading this Windows .exe file, you have to install the IntelliJ in your system. So after the installation, when you open the IntelliJ ID, so it will be look like this for you. So now we are going to create a Maven project in this. So how you can create it? So just go to the file, go to the new and go to project. So once you will click on the project, you will see a window will open for you where you can select different type of project that you can create. You can create a Java project. You can create a Maven project, Gradle project, Android project or any groovy or some any different project that you can create. So we are going to create a Maven project for you. So just select the Maven, click on the next. In the next window, you have to give the project name in your, uh, this name, project name box. So we are going to give a one name that's like Selenium Practice. Selenium Practice. So after giving the uh, project name, you can select a location also and by default, it will uh, store in your user directory where it is a user for you. So you can change the directory as well from this icon. You can select the, any other uh, location for your project. So now I'm going to select the by default location. Just click on a finish button. Once you will click on the finish button, one more window will open. Do you want to open this project in a, this window or any other new window? So we are going to use as a, this window. So you can see once you are creating a Maven project in the IntelliJ, you can see in the left side that the project has been created for you with the name Selenium underscore practice and this is the location for your project that has been created now you can see under this project different folders has been created for you one is the external library external libraries are those which will be containing the different jars files for you so you can see there are many different jar files which is useful for your project this is having the Java jar files or some other files as well, rt.jar files, right? So after creating this, you can see it is having one SRC folder as well. So SRC is our main folder, so which is have which will be containing the code and different files for you. So it SRC is having two folder, which is a main and one is the test. So under the main, we will be writing our Java code. So which will be having the like in the Selenium, we will be creating the different home pages uh, page under the page factory. So we are going to create different pages under the Java folder and we will be containing some capability class or some utility class. So those type of different class files we will be creating under Java folder. 
and one folder is having a test and test is having one folder with the name of java so under this test we are going to create our test cases so for the creating a test case and for managing the test cases in the test suite we we can use a test ng so test ng is very helpful for maintaining the test cases for managing the test suites so we can create our test cases under the test folder and there is one more file that you can see under the resources so under the resources you can add different uh, like chrome driver or i driver our driver jars or driver file driver.exe files basically that you can put under the resources folder one more file that you can see is a pom.xml so this pom.xml will create by default for you for a maven project you can see there is the icon m so it means it is a maven project and it is having pom.xml file so why do we need this pom.xml file pom.xml file is useful if you want to manage different jar files or, deep, or maybe you want to download different version of jar files in your project so in that case pom.xml file will help you to manage the jar files so for that simply you have to add the dependencies in the pom.xml file and automatically it will download from the remote maven you maven repository into your project you just need to define the dependency in your project for example maybe you want to do, uh, add the jar file for the selenium for the test ng for the extend report so for different type of jar file simply you can add the dependency in your pom.xml file and once you will uh, reload this project from the maven it will automatically download the all the different jar files in your project okay so that i will be explaining in your in my next video so this is how that you can create a maven project in the intellij so i hope that will that is helpful for you please like share and subscribe my channel thank you all bye